Okay, set up then around the centre circle. 28 yards wide, so four yards either side. 25 yards each half, so the pitch area is 50 by 20, 28 yards. Organisation and setup. Both teams are playing in a 1-2-3 formation. So the two can be two pivot players, your two centre backs, and this is your front three, so your nine, your seven, your eleven. Without the ball, you set up with your back two and your front three that can only defend the line of the centre circle when they're out of possession. So the practice will start with the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper must play into the back half of the pitch when the ball's on a restart, so he plays in. These three are looking to stay connected to stop anything penetrating centrally into the top end of the D. At the top end of the D, somebody can position themselves in there so the wide player in off the line, the nine acting as a false nine and coming in, unopposed and receiving there, unopposed up until his first touch. So the defenders cannot go into the centre circle to match that movement, but on the first touch they can press in. The objective then is very, very simple. We're looking to circulate the ball, recognising when to play carefully and be patient, and recognising when to play quickly so we can penetrate. There are two ways they can do it. They can play into that centre circle, or if it's a broad play round, they can utilise the space on the outside. When the ball does get transferred in to the circle or on the outside, it just plays into a 3v2 to a finish. If the Blues do regain possession, the Reds, to begin with, can't apply that instant pressure. They have to leave the ball and recover and defend that area again. The Blues will look to do exactly the same now. Recognise when to play carefully, when to play quickly to play into the, into the 3v2 to go and penetrate and score.